There comes a time in your life where you become so busy with everything around you that you forget to look at what you're doing, why you're doing it, and how you're doing it. You forget to look at your work and see if it's actually good or not. Try to reflect on your recent activities. Do you find yourself not productive at all? Or do you find yourself doing more than you can handle? You do feel it, or sometimes even know it. And the biggest question of all, are you even happy about what you're doing? Well, if not, then you have options. And I will try some of these options for you in this video. So I'm way too goddamn lazy. I procrastinate a lot. And the only time I do something is when I absolutely have to. So I asked myself, what if I try everything there is to try in the, in the field of productivity? And that's what this video is actually all about. Surprise. So basically, I try different ways of time management, different schedules, different methods, different supplies, different incomes, and different outcomes appeared. So... Here are the results. So I made a to-do list, a very basic one, not time-based. Uh, I wanted to see if it goes wrong, and if so, how and why it went wrong. Then I'll just take notes. That's technically it for this entire video. Just try a method, take notes, see what I can learn, go for another method. Well, it didn't work, like, at all. I, even, I, I totally forgot that I have stuff to do and just ditched the idea after two days of being excited that I just... Get, got over it and was like, nah, screw it. So I thought to myself, maybe the problem was that I give myself way too much freedom. So I tried to do a time-based to-do list. And instead of just having tasks, I have tasks, but on a specific time. It almost had the same results, but not exactly. It did prove to be a little bit more effective than the non-time-based to-do list. So I will keep it in mind in further experiments, or at least for the beginning of the journey. I guess it's because uh, when you're new to these kind of stuff, you're kind of lost in what you want to do or in what you're doing right now. So it's a little better for you to start out planning ahead what you want to do and having a plan instead of just going straight forward into it without knowing what you want to do. I also read this article that supports what I'm saying, so... yep! <laughs> but even with the time-based to-do list, I broke down still. So, I tried the reward system. It, it still didn't work. It did work at first, but more time passes and then you start uh, devaluing the reward and it just becomes that unnecessary thing, and uh, I don't really need it. Now I'm talking about physical rewards that I fully acknowledge the existence of, or basically, if I do something, I fully know that I'm gonna get this thing. I will try doing the unpredictable rewards, but that's for later. So if the reward system didn't work, what about the punishment system, eh? No. It's almost the same thing. At first, you're a little scared of losing the thing that you uh, that you set to lose, but at the end, you're just gonna lose the value of what you're gonna lose because your brain just keeps uh, having these thoughts of, uh, do I really need it? Or, I can imagine a life without that thing. It's not really that important. But so far, I've only been doing small losses. It's basically like... If you do, if you say a bad word, you gotta donate a penny to this little fucking jar. It's basically the same thing. And according to Dave from Boy in a Band, having long-term losses or losses that'll increase with the time do much less effect for you than uh, having a sudden uh, loss. So basically, if you lose 10,000 pennies because you said uh, a bad word every time, you're gonna feel not you're not gonna feel as bad as losing ten uh, losing one thousand penny for because you said the bad word once so i think you already knew what the video i'm talking about is the happiness experiment it, basically i was watching him and he did the commitment contract and i thought to myself if the commitment contract had such a significant effect on a person with crippling depression, then how in the name of God is it not gonna have an effect on me? Spoiler alert, it, 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 it didn't. But it did help me realize something. So I bet on my phone. My phone. The most important thing in my life. Not only is it my only source of entertainment, but it's only, but it's also my only source of knowledge. In my, in what I'm from, there aren't so many libraries that you can take a book and read from. Everything, basically most of my articles and stories or books that I want to read is on, it goes online. And I just lost it. I just lost it. That's how fucking bad my laziness 
level is. I bet on the most important thing in my life and I still did not care. But I had another idea. That losing my phone isn't really that bad. As much as it is my only source of entertainment and knowledge, it is also my biggest source of procrastination. So I made losing my phone another experiment. It didn't work, but this time I actually know why. When you're used to procrastination, the tool you use to procrastinate with doesn't matter. So when I lost my phone, I just lost the tool of procrastination that I used to have. I just found another one, an even more boring one. So instead of reading my book, I'd rather stare at the wall for 30 minutes straight. And that did not help me at all. So basically, I'm done shift blaming the problem. The problem is with me. It's on me. It's my fault. I'll try to dub it with... Uh, with a little bit of louder <laughs> background music if it does if it doesn't work you can you have to deal with it so now that we got this out of the way let's discuss what i actually learned from the happiness experiment i finally figured out why i've been failing this much at all my, at most of my experiments or at all of the experiments i do it's because i get bored way too easily no matter how well thought out or good my schedule is i will still get bored of it because I'm, I'm just doing the same thing over and over again, and I'm not so good with repeating stuff. So I have a new plan that I haven't tried yet. A very simple one, but now that I know what the problem is, I think I know the solution. Or at least I hope I know the solution. <laughs> so I'm bored. We established that. How can I unboard myself? Yes, that's the word, everyone. Well, I thought, what if I give every day a different taste? And is it even doable? Well, yes, it is doable, but that'll take way too much time, and I'm way too goddamn lazy to do it. You you need to at least plan for 30 minutes, because you're gonna, you gotta read what you did for the last week, and you gotta plan through what you did what you're going to do for the next week and it's just very hectic planning ahead and you gotta make sure that you've tried something new and do you really miss what you have already done do you feel like doing it no that's too much i just gave i just made a one week cycle <laughs> hopefully one week repeat isn't as boring as a one day repeat so here's the plan one i'll write every mandatory thing that i have to do and cannot skip Two, I'll write six activities which I like and enjoy doing without having to be mandatory for six days of the week. Three, I will specialize each day with one activity for one full hour every day. Four, I'll keep Friday for catching up with the things that I am not keeping up with because Friday in my country is uh, like Friday and Saturday in my country uh, are weekends, not Saturday and Sunday like other uh, places. Five. At Saturdays, my part-time job becomes a full-time job. So basically, uh, my job starts at 7 a.m. and ends at 5 uh, p.m. So basically, it's the same thing, just replace school with an extra hour of sleep and uh, extra work hours. And what's after 5 p.m. is the same as each and every other day. And basically, that's it. So here's the schedule I'm choosing for my challenge. So I wake up every day at 5 a.m. I'm not forcing myself to do it. I'm, I'm genuinely a morning person. So uh, 5 a.m. is normal for me to wake up at. Uh, and uh, if there's one thing you got to know about me is the fact that I'm a very religious person. So 5 to 6 a.m. goes for uh, religious things or religious activities starts at 6 a.m. or basically because I go walking for school instead of taking the bus to uh, save some money which is a video that's coming uh, a little while later uh, it takes me about uh, 30 to 40 minutes to walk to school so my school so basically I just included school from 6 to 12 and then there's I get a break from 12 to 1 but the thing is I usually I, I might get a little more late because that's 12 on the best occasions. Like I might literally reach at uh, 1230, 1240. So whatever I that's left from when I go back from school till 1 p.m. It's, uh, it's my break. Then I have to go to work from uh, 1 p.m. till 5 p.m. 
Uh, yeah. Then I have some free time from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Basically, if I want to relax, if I want to take a quick power 20 minutes nap, if I want to do some other activity, if I want to catch up, whatever, this is my free time. Then after that one hour of free time, I have two hours of studying from 6 p.m. till 8 p.m. Because I feel like this is the kind of the calmest time uh, in my place because there aren't uh, so many kids playing outside and there are there, there aren't so many distractions. Uh, then I have the, whatever activity I have for the for each day uh, for one hour from eight till nine. Then I do some uh, video making or basically like I do uh, whatever I if I want to record or video edit or. I produce or whatever the fuck I want to do or script write and then I sleep for 7 hours from 10 p.m. till 5 a.m. So here's what I'm gonna do for the challenge. I'll do it for 30 days and I'll write a journal for the entirety of it and uh, yeah that's it. <laughs> If you want, I might, you might as well just go to my Facebook page because I might or might not upload some of the, uh, like, updates on uh, my uh, challenge to see if it goes well or not, or to see, I don't know, just, whatever, if you do, do you do you, I don't know, I don't, I don't really care at this point, uh, it's, it's shit, I'm barely gonna upload anything on it, uh, it's basically, uh, just stupid jokes and, uh, updates for the video, if you like that, then, sure, why not go to my Facebook page. Uh, oh well, that's it. Just bye.